chemical safety for workers. Due to business needs, factories must keep many types of chemicals. If they are not handled correctly, these chemicals can lead to many serious health problems, such as cancer, nervous system disorders, internal damage, and breathing problems. They can also damage your skin, eyes, nose, and throats. To protect yourself and your co-workers, you need to know how to use the chemicals safely. Be aware. Chemicals are easily identifiable. You can see signs in chemical storage areas and label or chemical containers. Labels often classify chemical as explosive, flammable, oxidizing, corrosive, having acute or environmental toxicity, uh, and sensitizers and erosions, or gas under pressure. You might also see labels that consist of color and number coding system. The color used include blue health risk, red fire risk, yellow reactivity hazard, and white special hazards. Number 0 to 4 inside each color code indicate the severity of the risk. 4 is the most dangerous one. It's your responsibility to know about the chemical used in your work. You should ask your supervisor what is this chemical is harmful or potentially dangerous. What does the chemical manufacturer recommend that we can protect supervisor? Follow. Every container holding chemical must have a clear label indicating what is in it. Do not use any chemical containers. It may cause dangerous reactions such as poison, fumes, and fire. And do not sell or use chemical containers for storing food, cooking oil, water for drinking or washing. It can cause devastating consequences to humans and may even de uh, cause death. Used chemical containers should be properly stored, returned to the chemical supplier or the subsidy by qualified contractor. If the chemical requires it, you must wear a personal protective uh, called PPE, such as a Robert gloves, uh, goggles, and PPE is information is included as the material safety data sheets uh, to your factory. Most personal protective equipment, be sure to get a size that responsibly fits you to be well protected. When your PPE is damaged or expired, it's your responsibility to ask your supervisor to replace it for you. Being sensitive to those around you if you see them not using the right PPE or they are feeling sick alerts your supervisor. Pay attention to warning signs and stay away from areas that use or store chemical unless your work records that you. Immediately alert your supervisor if you find anyone smoking or eating. Where the signs indicate not in order to avoid a great danger, make certain that appropriate emergency response equipment and communication devices and properly maintains in any chemical storage area. Protect. Alert your supervisor if you see any observation chemical spills, leads that are not tightly sealed. Chemical containers that, that are then dented, damaged, or defective, or packaging the snow. If you find uh, notify the factory responsible by following the instruction posted on their nearest emergency communication device. If you are aware of chemical risk observ observance of those around you, you and carefully follow the proper safety producers, you can ensure a safe, healthy place for you and your co-workers.